I'm now going to check the alignment of the blade on this Rage 3 sliding mighty saw. The first thing we need to do is ensure that the saw is unplugged. We'll then just press in this button here, we'll pull the machine down, ensure it's back as far as it can go and turn that locking handle and also push in this pin. You now need to ensure that that stop is touching the cap head screw before you check the machine for alignment. To check the blade you're going to need a square, you either need a set square or an engineer square. In this case we're using a small engineer square, so that is now flat on the base of the machine. You can see that the engineer square is touching the blade at the top, but at the bottom we've got a slight gap. I'll just shine some light on that and then you can actually see. Before you can adjust the machine you need to undo this screw and slide that part of the fence out of the way. So we've now determined that this machine requires adjustment, so we need to undo the bevel locking handle, which is this handle at the back. We can now tilt the machine to the left, and that will give us access to that cap head screw. We can now adjust that screw by tightening it or undoing it until we get it to the correct level. So we'll just tighten that up a bit. We'll then slide the saw all the way back until it touches the stop. And then we'll use the square again to check the blade. You can then continue with further adjustments if necessary. And you can now see that the blade is perfectly square with the table, so that is exactly 90 degrees to the table bed. You may also need a 10mm spanner to tighten the lock nut as well as the X key. Once the machine has been adjusted and you're happy with it, you can then lock up the bevel locking handle. You'll notice that the red line is now no longer on zero, so we now need a screwdriver. We can undo the screw. Set that to zero. And then retighten the screw.